Okay, I'm Eric Mack. It's three in the morning in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and this is what it takes to get to space, or at least to watch Virgin Galactic founder and billionaire Richard Branson get to space. So here we are, Spaceport America, New Mexico, just before sunrise. And there's been a bit of a delay overnight. Some weather pushed things back by about an hour and a half, but we've still got uh, several hundred. I'm hearing over 500 people here on hand to watch Sir Richard Branson and five Virgin Galactic employees head to the edge of space. So way off in the distance behind me is the White Knight 2 craft, VMS Eve. That's the carrier aircraft and Spaceship 2 Unity will be underneath it when it takes off supposedly any minute here. So the goal is obviously that no one and nothing is harmed during today's mission, but I did just see a tarantula very rudely swept off the tarmac, so you can be the judge. And we're rolling. So I came out here to the backside of Spaceport America to escape the blaring sound of the live stream that's coming out of loudspeakers everywhere. And this is where I found a bunch of Virgin Galactic employees watching the actual flight, DMS Eve carrying Spaceship Unity, which you can't see. It's up there at over 40,000 feet right now. You can just kind of make it out as a speck in the sky, but it is up there uh, preparing to detach the spaceship to Unity from beneath it so that it can ignite its rocket engine and from there it's up to space. One of the you know people have told me about this, but but it's kind of until you, you really experience it for yourself. That it's so quiet when the rocket motor shuts off. All of a sudden, it's just it's very quiet in the cabin. You can hear, you can talk to each other and hear people in the cabin. So uh, Beth uh, Beth Moses, um, who is the cabin lead and the test director for today, um, I heard her saying, "Don't don't miss apogee. Don't forget to look out the window. Don't forget to look out the window." And so uh, yeah, I didn't even mind it. So uh, um, just just. Went up to the, floated up to the window above me and just took a look out and it was, it was incredible. So what does this all mean and what is the significance of what happened today at Spaceport America? Well, so far, a lot of the focus has been on Richard Branson and rightly so. Uh, this is a journey for him that's lasted uh, almost 20 years, uh, cost over a billion dollars and it is impressive without a doubt. Uh, but there's also been a lot of talk today about the desire to send a lot more people to space and to make space more open to everyone. And I just certainly hope that that, that isn't lost and that that's not just lip service that uh, we're hearing today and never again. Uh, you know, the, the first space race um, 
we ended up benefiting in many ways that we didn't even know was going to happen at the time. We have a, a global positioning system and a satellite-based civilization today because of the technological gains uh, that NASA began and helped inspire over half a century ago. And so today, as it's over 100 degrees here in the heat and we're facing an environmental crisis, I hope that some of the things that are learned from this new space race really will trickle down, help us solve some of the very real problems that we have on Earth today. And it was pretty cool.